Let me ask you a question. Tea or coffee? You don't have to answer too soon. Don't rush it. Not yet. Just think about it. Consider the two options. What can be said of tea? Well, tea is made by pouring hot water over leaves. It's bitter and definitely tastes like you'd imagine a cup of wet leaves to taste like. But there are different sorts of teas with different variations on that bitterness. And underneath that bitterness is usually a sort of coolness to it, which can be enhanced by adding things like, I don't know, mint to it. And then to counter the bitterness, you can sweeten it with sugar, artificial sweetener, other leaves that carry sweetness to it, like stevia, which I use. But my favorite is honey. That's just great in tea, especially with some mint, too. Mint itself adds some sweetness to it. It's very nice. And then, of course, in England, people add milk or cream to the tea, which I like to do occasionally. It makes it smoother and is particularly good with breakfast. Most teas have some degree of caffeine. Definitely not all teas, but the ones you're most common to find do. Oh, and you can put it on ice, too. Iced tea is my beverage of choice most anywhere I go. And there's a lot more little, minute variations on tea, like all the different leaves and the parts of leaves, the exact temperature of the water, the steeping time, a lot of stuff. But that's the basics of tea, really. But now on to coffee. Coffee is pretty similar in theory to tea. It's made from seeds, so it comes from a plant too. It's also brewed hot as well. But there's quite a bit more involved in getting those seeds turned into coffee. It's not so easy as just putting them in a cup of hot water like you would tea leaves. There's this whole process that's involved in roasting the seeds, which are typically called beans just because they look more like beans than seeds. But you have to roast them, and there are a bunch of different ways to roast them. And then you grind them, and there are even more different ways to do that. And finally, there's the brewing variations, like filtering, steeping, boiling, pressure cooking. It's an involved process, is what I'm saying. And coffee aficionados take it very seriously. And then I should mention instant coffee, which is pretty much just like normal coffee, dehydrated and put into packets. Kind of brilliant, actually, when you think about it, but yeah. Oh, and then after you've brewed your cup of joe, you can go through the same sweetening methods as tea, and you can put it on ice as well. And you can also add milk or cream, which is much more common than with tea, which makes sense. Coffee tastes bitter, but more so than tea. And because of that, making it smoother and sweeter is almost nearly absolutely necessary for its consumption by most people. I've heard a lot of people say that drinking black coffee just makes them ill. Personally, I like it black myself, but I can understand why people wouldn't be into it. I do put cream and stevia in it sometimes if I'm making it at home. Maybe even throw a piece of super dark chocolate in it because I'm just hardcore like that. Otherwise though, I'll grab it straight and black and walk out the door. It's invigorating. And speaking of invigorating, it's also caffeinated, which is another trait it shares with tea. Except coffee has quite a bit more caffeine than tea. Tea will wake me up and keep me alert for a good while, but coffee nearly makes me explode sometimes. That's a big reason that people like it so much. The average coffee drinker doesn't drink it for the taste, but for the energy boosting effects. Coffee's become a big part in American culture because of that. It used to be tea, which makes sense if you recall, you know, the Boston Tea Party practically the event that really got the American Revolution going and all. But by the time the Civil War hit, tea was on the decline, but coffee was in full swing. Everybody was all about their coffee, getting things done, fighting the Rebs or the Yanks, depending upon your disposition. Basically what I'm saying is, ever since then, if you're in America and you need to get some work done, you're doing coffee. Unless you're in the 1980s, and then it's cocaine. But what I'm getting at is, Coffee has been there for us. And yet, so too is tea. Tea, particularly in its iced form, is pretty big as well. Every restaurant you go to has iced tea. But on the other hand, every street corner has a Starbucks. So to return to my original question, which do you prefer, tea or coffee? Mm. They don't really combine great either, so uh, make a note of that. But me, I'm honestly going to have to go with tea, just because it's what I find myself drinking the most. Not because of any, like, conscious effort, it's just what I typically 
drink besides water. I'll have coffee sometimes, and I like it just as much as tea. Maybe more. But tea has a sort of simplicity that I enjoy. It's got minimalist, artistic appeal to me. Too hipster? Okay. How about maybe I'm just too lazy to make coffee? Does that work? It's like, you know, with tea, just heat some water, put a bag in a cup, pour the water on top, and boom, drink. Coffee's slightly more involved, and for that reason, I drink it less frequently. And of course, there's the instant variety of coffee, but eh, that usually just doesn't feel right to me. Plus, a lot of them have added stuff that I'm not big on, so I'll pass. And what's more, like I said before, coffee's caffeine content just kind of works a little too well on me. So I try to limit myself with it. Tea's got just that right amount. Enough that I can feel it, but not enough that it makes me electrified. Or that it keeps me up at night. That happens too when I drink coffee. And it sucks. But I will admit, if you want to talk about taste, I like coffee the most. It's just all that you can do to coffee. With some raw heavy cream and some stevia, maybe some of that dark chocolate like I mentioned. It's the bomb. But that's just my take on it. Uh, what about you? I don't know. How do you feel about coffee and tea? Which do you like? I'm interested. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, happy birthday, Shelby. Uh, yeah, I made a video for you. I know it's not quite as good as last year's video. Uh, I can admit that. But, eh, you know, I, I had to do something for you. I had, to do, I had to do something for him. I had to do something for him. These are for you. Those are, those are for you. Happy birthday, senpai! Is it like the height of hubris to be like, Oh yeah, dude, I like made a video for you for your birthday. Like, he, happy birthday, I made a video, like, not actually about your birthday at all or anything like that. Like, like to act like that's, that's my present to him. Like, like, it's such a great thing that, oh, oh, I created this and I, and I made this. I'm saying that it's for your birthday. How, is that like, is that like douchey? Is that like arrogant? Dick pics are, are worse. Yeah, because you're saying like, here's my dick. This is a present for you. Like, okay. you. like your dick is so awesome. Okay, at least this video isn't a dick pic. How about that? Eh, eh, eh. Anyway, hey, since uh, I just did this video, what do you prefer? Tea or, or coffee is... Coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Cause... She, she picks coffee. Because reasons. No, no, go into it. I, I'm interested. Because... I'm a stereotypical high school student who needs coffee, who stays up till 2 a.m. studying. I don't. You never have. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, she says coffee. Uh, I'm interested to hear what other people say. I mean, although, you know, I already know that you, 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 Shelby, not, not necessarily the general public. I think the general public likes uh, coffee more, though. Like I said, you know, America... Uh, it's coffee very ingrained, but so I don't know, we'll coffee then. Oh, it's just sugar drink? Sugar drink? So uh Okay. Later. Peace. Sugar Bye. Food. Enjoy life. I, I did stuff. Bye.